Hello, it's Nora in the garden. I just want to show you the t a progress I've made picking all my tomatoes. So this is my lovely box of tomatoes. These are my ox hearts that I picked actually a few days ago. So they have turned nice and red. The Romas. So as you can see, they are turning color pretty quickly. So what's not better than some fresh basil to go with your tomatoes and your tomato sauce? So this uh, basil here, I picked it so that it doesn't freeze. It's a very tender plant. And you can actually put this in water. And I love the smell of the basil. Like it just oh, it smells so wonderful. So I'm actually going to put this in water. And um, the water, um, they, they might even root. And you can actually plant these again as well. There's a video on YouTube um, how to plant this again and grow more and more basil. So, But I'm just going to put this in the water and it'll smell the whole house up. So this is what Nora in the Garden has been busy doing. I have these lovely crab apples. In my front garden. So... What I've been doing is um, working on these, cooking these up, and I made some lovely applesauce. Now this applesauce is a nice pink because I added one bag of cranberries I had in the freezer. They were left from Easter since we had no turkey and no Easter dinner this year uh, because of COVID-19. So um, this is a lovely applesauce. Um, I did add some sugar and some cardamom. I just love cardamom in everything now. Instead of cinnamon, you can put a little bit of cardamom if you like cardamom. It is such a lovely spice. So I just put uh, just a little bit of that in there. Also here is some apple butter. So I cooked down these apples and strained them through a sieve and did this all by hand. And this is my lovely apple butter. And it is just so delicious on sourdough bread so it is just so delicious you don't even need to put butter or margarine just put some apple butter and have that so that um, is also with brown sugar um, I try to use also watch your sugar that you're not using beet sugar um, I try always to get um, cane sugar and there's different cane sugar. Uh, there's some grocery and department stores that carry the um, cane sugar. So just look on the package and it'll say cane sugar so it's less processed. And also it's peach and plum season. So I have listed in my cookbooks uh, my favorites. So peach and plum chutney I have done because it's one of my favorites. And also there's a plum cranberry chutney as well that's very good. Um, so I've made some chutneys and um, they're all um, been processed and they're ready to go down in the basement and of course I had to keep one open to um, have now. So chutney is very nice on your pork chops. You can have it cold or you can cook your chutney um, and pork chops together. So also with these apples I'm going to um, use these apples and take off the stems and the blossom ends and I am going to put um, one thing of cream of tartar, a tablespoon of cream of tartar, onto the apples and then boiling hot water. And you leave that sit for 24 hours and then you pour off beautiful apple juice. And I was quite amazed the first time that I did that, there was no juice left in the apples. Like the cream, the tartar, the cream of tartar just takes the juice right out of the apples and quite amazing and I also have some small little pears as well and I made pear juice one year too so you can sweeten the pear juice as you like but it's in the water and then you can just add a little sweetener and you want to can that in some juice jars and um, it's lovely juice um, for all year round um, my neighbor she likes to have her meds um, that she takes. She takes a little bit of um, apple juice with those and a few of us like to have some juice in the winter and it's very good for you. Um, you're getting all the benefits of your fruit um, in your juice. So it's Nora in the garden and it's September long weekend so have a great time and um, get your canning all done before it freezes up 
And if you don't have time to can right now, you want to enjoy the beautiful weather, then just throw these all in the freezer. Just freeze them and they'll be there for you to do later. Have a great weekend and stay safe. Uh, wear your masks and um, cover up.